let's see today graph isomorphism two graphs g1 and g2 are said to be isomorphic if there exists a bijection f from b1 to v2 such that u v belongs to v1 or adjacent in graph g1 if and only if f of u comma f of v belongs to v2 vertex set or adjacent in graph g2 if it's so then we can say that g1 isomorphic to g2 let's see an example two graphs g1 and g2 g1 consists of four vertices namely u1 u2 u3 u4 the same way g2 consists of four vertices p1 p2 p3 and p4 and you can see the number of lines here or number of edges 1 2 3 4 5 6 same here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so same number of points <coughs> and same number of edges sorry same number of points and same number of lines or edges right now we can see whether these two graphs are isomorphic so for that you can check the degree of the points right you can see here the degree of u1 is 3 and here degree of u2 is 3 again you can see 3 and u4 also the degree is 3 sorry right so here the degree is 3 let's um, check here uh, that is in g2 whose degree is this v1 the degree is 3 again v3 3 v4 the degree is 3 again v2 3 right now you can see u1 3 3 is adjacent to the degree 3 3 and 3 you can take this 3 or this 3 any one 3 you can take and see the same adjacency degrees are there here one of the 3 i am assuming see the incidence here or 3 and here the degree 3 and here to the degree 3 similarly you can take this 3 so 3 incidence again 3 again 3 similarly you can check for another so u2 whose degree is 3 which is incident to 3 3 3 again you can take v to 3 so it is instant to 3 3 3 that is degrees so you can check for all other vertices also the same number of degrees are there hence we can say that g1 and g2 are isomorphic so two isomorphic group not group graph have the same number of points and same number of lines hence we can say that two graphs are isomorphic but these conditions are not sufficient to show that these two graphs are isomorphic so you can see the next example g1 and g2 consist of uh, six points each and you can see the number of lines in g1 1 2 3 4 5 and and for g2 1 2 3 4 5 okay same number of points and same number of lines and you can check that whether these two graphs g1 and g2 are isomorphic So for that, you can write the degrees of u1, 2, etc. U1, the degree is 1, and u2, the degree is 2, and u3, the degree is 3. Again, u6, 1, u4, 2, and 1. Similarly, sorry, sorry, right. So here the degree is 1. Here too, the degree is 1, 2. Then um, two again three one again one right. See here one is instant to the vertex of degree two. Okay, one is instant to the vertex of degree two. Again, you can take two. Two is instant to the degree of one and three. So you can check here. Two is instant to one and two. so the possibility is wrong so you can check for another two also let you can check so here two is instant to 1 and 3 okay another two you can check two is instant to again 2 and 3 okay possibility fails okay once again you can check for another one degree 3 which is instant to 1 2 2 and see here 3 which is instant to 2 1 1 but what we need here 3 instant to 2 2 One, but here we got three instant to two one one. Again, the possibility gets fail. 
So no need to check the other possibilities. Just you can say that G1 and G2 are not isomorphic. So for isomorphism, same number of points and same number of lines is not only sufficient, but also adjacency is needed. You can see the next example, G1 and G2 consist of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 points. And here also 8 points with the number of lines also be same. Now you can check the isomorphic. So for that, you have to put the degrees 3. 2, 3, again here 2, then 2, 3, 2, uh, right here 3, same wise here 3, again 3, 2, degree 2, degree 2, 3, 3, and 2. Now you can check. See 3. What of the point 3? Sorry, degree. Degree which is adjacent to the vertices of degree 2, 3. 3. See here? 3 adjacent to 2, 3, 2. Let you can see. Once again, remain 3 adjacent to 2, 3, 2. 2, 3, 2. Let you can see here. 3 adjacent to what we need to? 2, 3, 2. Check here. 3, 3, 2. Okay, leave that. Next 3 you can take and check whether you are getting 2, 3, 2. So, 2, 3, 3. It also fails. Again, you can see one more 3. We need here 3, 4, 2, 3, 2. Again, you can check here 3, 3, 3, 2. Fails. Again, one more 3 is there. You can check here. So, we need 2, 3, 2. Okay. 2, 3, 3. Right? So, it also gets failed. Hence, we can say that G1 and G2 are not isomorphic. Similarly, you can check for any other possibilities. Most time also, you will get the same. G1 and G2 are not isomorphic. G1 and G2 are not isomorphic. Thank you.